Welcome back to another Pixelmon video, guys. I know what you're thinking. What are those? No, that's not what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, your base looks a little different. Where's your little chests and stuff? And what? Wait a minute. You weren't by a desert. What's going on here? Well, let me tell you what's going on here. The Pixelmon Red server on the Pocket Pixel server has been reset, but don't worry, guys. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. This is probably the best thing that could have happened because now we all get to start from square one. So let's check out what's going on on this server. As you probably are well aware, the server has been reset. Um, basically, this is the first time, I think in two years, that they've gone and reset the server. So everything has been wiped off, Pokemon have been wiped off, balances everything. It's a complete reset of everything. Um, and a lot of people are kind of pissed about it, but at the same time, you know what? It's good to start over. I was actually kind of happy about it. I'm like, hey, you know what? I get to start in on this thing at the very beginning. So I'm kind of excited about that. And actually, as you can see, I picked up a Turtwig. So there's a special person who wanted me to get this little thing here. So now they can't be mad that I don't have it anymore because I do, that's gonna be my starter. But let me give you a little uh, tour of this place, as you can see, you started back here in this building, which is a giant Pokeball, which is just awesome looking. And then this way, it's the uh, little Mithridge town. So let's go through here and see what we've got. You know, I've played on this server a bunch of times already, and I've still never actually gone through this yet. So this is gonna be kind of cool. What do we got here? Building credits. In the beginning, there was but some natural forest, but then the goddess Kipster <laughs> graced the land with her blessing. Far and wide, the land became dotted with spectacular buildings and gyms, and thus, the Pocket Pixels map was born. Nice. Awesome. Need a place to build? Check out these warps. Warp Forest, Plains, and South. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go to the south side. I would warp east instead. The south gets a little rough. I'm just kidding. Uh, so this is Mithridge Town Rock Gym. Which, before the reset, I never actually got to beat any gym leaders. Not that I'd have a chance at being them anyways. But this is the first gym here. This is where you challenge the rock gym leader. And I will be getting into this in another episode. But, yeah, it's a pretty crazy looking gym. I can't wait to fight somebody inside this. But that's far out because I think you need three Pokemon that have to be level 25. And it is rock. So, I think Turd would could be a pretty good choice, we'll have to see. Oh no, it's raining, so let me just uh, AFK a little bit and make the rain stop. All right guys, well it's still raining, can't make the rain stop magically, but I wanted to show you this little Pokemon Center here, and actually it's not little, it's pretty freaking huge. It is at the bottom of the ramp where you come out of the giant Pokeball, which is up on the hill there, you come down here, and there's a couple uh, healing beds over here for your Pokemon, they've got a trading machine, and a chest that you can't open, but that's okay. And it's also got a map, so it shows you how big this starting area is. And you can see the Pokeballs where you start there. We're in the Pokemon Center here, and there's a building here, here, and some over there, and then it looks like there's a whole new other city over there. So let's go take a look what those are. All right, now that we're out of the rain, we're in the first building, and this is the fossil building. You can buy all the fossils here. Actually, I don't think you can buy them here, can you? Uh, no, I don't think you can. Uh, this just shows you the fossils, so it's kind of like a little museum showing you some of the different ores and stuff. You can buy different stones here. Um, and I believe there's a store over here, too. Let's see what's inside of here. What do we got? Okay, insert fossil. Please use the fossil lab at slash warp poke center. Cool. So for those of you, if you don't have your own Pokemon Center right away, you can slash warp poke center and then go back to your home by using slash set home, which is a nice thing to have once you go out and find your own Pokemon Center. Next to the Pokemon Center across in this little circle here is a chest that you can open up once every three days. So I'm not gonna show you guys what I got out of there, although you can kind of see them down here. But <laughs> you can get a random item every three days, so make sure to come back here and check for that. Over here, we've got a Pokemon Mart. And in here, they've got a lot of different things in here, all kinds of balls, in case you need to get your balls, which they actually look really cool in the item frames. 
really cool. Um, then all kinds of different things here. If you wanted to buy your own healing station, your own PC, any of the potions and stuff. And there's multiple layers in here. So let's go see what's upstairs. There's like more stuff here. Okay, so this is just blocks and stuff. So if you want to build a really cool house, you can do that with this. So yeah, this is just one of the shops. There's also a much bigger shop as well. But this one is in the starting area, and it's really easy to get to. Ooh, what is this? Item of the month. No, I don't need any more hoes. Moving on. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why the heck do I have a slowpoke? And you know I'm a gambling man, so let's just go ahead and do WT slash, or slash WT space 2 space confirm. And let's see what's in the wonder trade. Snorlax! How cool! Nice! So it looks like it's going to be Turtwig and Snorlax going up against the first gym leader. Although I'm pretty sure Snorlax is going to be pretty terrible. But you know what? I'm proud to have him on my team. And the third one... You know, let's we'll do the wonder trade again Whoa. once it's ready. So that means I need to catch... Oh, look how small this one is. Look how small you are. Uh, let's go with... Let's see. Can we get lucky again? Can we get two of these guys in a row? You know, I've noticed that... With smaller Pokemon, they always seem to get caught easier. I don't know if it's true, but nope, it, it got away. Let's try, let's try Great Ball. They're great. Rate eight out of eight. No hate. Come on, Ball. Appreciate my effort. I'm sorry. I will stop right now. <laughs> oh, but it worked. It worked, guys. <laughs> oh, it it liked the jokes. It liked them so much. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so that was that, and let's just head over this way, and let's see what we got over here. I'll tell you what we got over here, guys. We've got a floating freaking castle. That's what we've got. What are those? That, that's pretty cool looking. Must have like little hydro pumps holding it up there, because we all know that things can't fly in Minecraft. What do we got here? So we got some PCs, healing beds. Is this this is this a little Pokemon battle arena? That's interesting. I'm gonna have to find out what this thing is. It looks like a little dueling arena or something. Or not. Or it is. Or not. I don't know. Moving on. Uh oh, what's that over there? Looks like we've got the PvP arena. Let's go check this thing out. Didn't even know they had PvP arena on here. Also, it brought Donnie over here and killed him like 50 bajillion D times. Because Donnie is very noob at that kind of stuff. Alright, look at that. PvP is now on. And I'm ready to wreck some face. Whoa, don't fall down there. That would suck. I think that's enough of the uh, town tour. So let's check out what else we got in here. We've got the rules slash staff room. I wonder if there's just going to be a giant staff in here. And no, no giant staff. Boo! That's okay. All right, what do we have over here? Looks like we have all the gym leaders. So normal gym, water gym, fire gym, psychic gym, poison gym, flying gym, grass gym, and rock gym. There's a lot of rock, and that's weird. I don't see the roll. What? How can you have rock with no roll? That is weird. All right, anyways, on with the tour. What else do we got here? Server rules. No griefing at all. Period. Ever. I mean, that should just be a given. No spamming of any kind. That includes the canned kind, guys. No advertising of any kind. Don't be stupid. I mean, basically, they just need one rule. Don't be stupid. No scamming. Kind of obvious. See? No stealing or raiding. Yeah, that's kind of obvious as well. No AFK machines. No posting links in chats. No excessive or directed swearing. Okay. I can understand that. No cyberbullying at all. Yeah. Cyberbullies are stupid. Bullies in general are stupid. No disrespecting others. That's a given. No caps. No trolling. No arguing with staff. No abusing any exploit. No ban evading. Don't slash set home in a gym. Don't break or take anything that isn't yours. Bullying and selling badges will result in a ban. So, yeah. Common sense. Just throw a few pennies up there. Common sense, guys. Just use that. You'll be fine. 
don't even think twice about it. And actually, what is this over here? We've got gym manager, builder, helpers, mods, admins, head admin, owners. Yay. Okay. I can't read all those because I can't fly. Or else, yeah, it's really hard to read in this texture pack. It's probably really hard to read in every texture pack. This way to the donator room. All right, let's see what we can donate for. What does this say here? Left click to view the crate prizes. Right click with the key in your hand to open the crate. So left click. So these are the crate prizes. And you right click if you have a key. And I'm guessing it will open up. Let's put these on here. Um, yeah, I don't have any keys, but if I ever get one, I'll definitely make sure to record it for you guys. And we've got top donators. Pretty cool. All the top donators in here. And now we've got new purchase one, two, three. It's a lot of people that purchase things. So a lot of people donating, which is awesome. The server's a great server. And wow, top 10 most hours. Uh, 2,700 hours. That's awesome. I'm wondering if they forgot to reset this as well. It seems like these should all be reset. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm running away. Well, we looked at the town. We looked at the rules and staff room. We looked at the donation room, so that leaves us with just one room left, and that is the warp room. Welcome to the warp zone. Basically, this contains all the different warps, so you can go from here to all the gyms. They are on both sides, and let's see if there's any other miscellaneous stuff here yet. Nope, so it's just... Oh, look at that. We've got another city. Wow. Oh, another city here! What? In a town? Wow. I really I really need to uh, check these out. Yeah, there's no way I have enough time in this one video to show you all these towns. I'll have to do that over my series, which will give me something to do to come back here to each of these and kind of go through the portals and look at each of the towns, probably as I go through and beat each of the gym leaders. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. But most importantly, guys, we've got the portal down here, which is the most important one, the... Elite Four Challenge Warp. Are you prepared for the top four trainers? Then enter this portal for the final challenge. I am not ready. I am not prepared. I'm going to run away, guys. Back to the starting room. And I'm doing this for a reason. Because I am going to go venture into the wild with just a few Pokeballs and a shovel. And I will build a house. So I will see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching guys i'm really excited about this series i'm actually really really stoked about this whole uh reset thingy uh, at first i was kind of like ah oh, that sucks but then i realized you know what i get to be in this thing from the beginning i get to make a really cool house get some really really cool pokemon and this is going to be so much fun i like i said i can't i can't wait to get started so as a matter of fact i'm going to get started now so when you guys come back i'm going to have my house back i'm going to have our little uh Pokeball farm going again, and I should have a decent amount of Pokemon that are going to be stored up. I'm going to start storing Pokemon for different gyms now that I know what they all are. I'm going to start storing up different rosters and get them all leveled up so that I can do one, then do another, and it'll be so much fun. And then I'll get Apex and Donnie back in here because, yes, they need to be back in here too. But, uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to see me use. And don't forget, there is a Pixelmon Red store. So if you do purchase something from there, make sure to use discount code RGA for an instant 5% off. So throw that on there, purchase all your stuff, and save a little bit of money. I'll see you guys.